my God. A nigger, look, there's a nigger! Ooh. Ooh. Yo, this is an invasion. You already know the evil genius, DJ Greenland. I got the boy Esco. Let's go. Peace. What's up, Green? It's popping, man. Everything, everything, family. Yo, 14 years in the game? Yeah, man. New album? Yes, sir. Congratulations, man. Thank you, man. Most people last that good one, two, and they out. <laughs> That one too, huh? Hey man, check the Nas Library study, man. You, you know what I mean? You just listen, you know, get your weight up, man. Try to last, man. How many albums is it though? Um, I got like um, I think this will be like the eighth solo album, tenth, knife, knife solo album. But then you got the other pieces, the the lost tapes and the um, right. QB's finest and the firm shit and um, some greatest hits or something like okay. that. Yeah. So for the last couple of albums, you've been kind of going, you know, you kind of had some controversial titles. Yeah, you know very, what I'm saying? very provocative. I'm feeling that. Ra sure. Raised a few eyebrows. Yeah. You know what yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, this go around, you got the N word joint jumping yeah. off. You know what I mean? How, how you, you know, how you feeling about how you feel about like the people coming out the woodwork and they got opinions on things like you know i mean that's that's all good that's what i wanted you know what i'm saying i want to create the dialogue i want to open up the dialogue mm -hmm. we get cats talking we get so much heat rappers get so much heat every day we get so much heat for the, the language you know what i mean the, mm -hmm. you know so so it's like all right cool let's bring it to the stage let's okay. bring it to the stage man now, I've been playing a joint, you know, when you want to be one, too. Yeah, yeah, I mean, good looking, man. I, I've been playing that for, for a couple of weeks now, and, you know, I'm catching a lot of opinions and, and whatnot. A couple, you know, a couple people kind of came like, yo, you know, this dude just, he just trying to, you know, cause controversy to get people to, you know, talk about his album. You know, what do you feel about people saying stuff like that? They smart. <laughs> <laughs> they smart, of course. That's why we're okay. that's why we're in the, in the music game. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's about creating controversy, light the dynamite, get everybody to pay attention. You know. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, this is not like a record like me me rapping like Flo Rida, or just having doing something different. You know what I mean? This mm -hmm. is this is just Nas being Nas. And if I say it in a way that makes you uh, that makes your eyebrows raise, you know, that's a pat on my back. It was no million spent on marketing. It's just me and the people. And when the people react, I think that's like better than anything you can do. It's better than trying to psych it out like gimmicks and all of that stuff. This is about who we are. This is about our culture. This is about a struggle. This is about predominantly the shit I always talk about on all my albums anyway. So it's just... Yeah, bring on the publicity, controversy, whatever. Bring it on, and and it's not like it's gonna sell five, ten million copies. Oh, I, man, come on, man. This is hip hop music. This is Nas doing what he does, you know, and just making some noise right. with, with the real, what's in my heart. All right, all right, that's what it is. So, man, moving on to the Nas, the the political MC. You know, you make making a political statement with that title and everything. You know what's it's election season right now. What you got your eyes on? What's your what's your stance on things? Man? I mean, I think I think it's like you know what I'm saying. It's like you know the statement is 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 even more. It's it's a political, but it's 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 like you know. It's it's out of control. You know what I'm saying. It's like to the point where you know, we we just get used to shit happening to 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 people, and nobody want to say shit. It's not cool to say shit. So it's like. You know, whether the elections was going on or not, Nas going to rap about what Nas rap about. And um, the election's always been faking us out, man. The other, the other year was vote or die. I wasn't with that either. You know what I'm saying? I ain't with it now. Like, I, I never trusted politics. I never seen anything politics did for the hood. I never seen any president even mention one ghetto's name. I never heard any president mention Fort Greene. I never heard what they don't, we don't exist to them. And I think it's great right now that George Bush is leaving and that we have Obama up for office. That's beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I think that's really great, but um, right now, I, I, I mean, I, I'm in my world. I'm in my world. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's what it do. That's what it is. Speaking of your world, you know what I mean? Like, classic, classic Illmatic. We're about to play a joint right now off of Illmatic. What's your favorite joint off of Illmatic? I mean, we're going to play that right now. Oh man, I really don't. I really don't have a favorite joint off that joint. Um, I like New York State of Mind. Mm. You know what I'm saying? That's that's like 
that really just says everything that I've been trying to say. Uh, that I was trying to say, being that that was the first album, that was really it could have ended right there. That could have been the right, album right, right. there. Exactly. And so, so that that was like the the joint that set the album off. And Shout it. the premiere on that beat. We're gonna hit this one, and we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna ask you, what's up with that Prem Nas album, man? We coming right back. This Invasion Radio Hip Hop Nation. Turn your radios up. You are now allowed to listen to the radio. The real niggas are back. On the radio. Uh, no slacking, no begging, no asking, no fasting. No disrespect to Islam, no imam or pastor. No answers to questions the media's asking. Why we fight each other in public in front of these arrogant fascists? They love it. Putting old niggas versus the youngest. Most of our